Whale conservationists have never tackled a problem as large as this. They want to free 87 belugas and 10 juvenile orcas from these pens near Vladivostok, caught as part of a shadowy trade in selling live animals to Chinese marine parks. Faced with the backlash, Russia's government took the unusual step of asking for international advice. Que l'espèce qui est dans les océans. It invited Jean-Michel Cousteau, son of renowned ocean explorer Jacques Cousteau, to help come up with a plan to release them. It's not easy, but it's going to happen, hopefully, for most of them. Freeing this many whales has never been attempted before, and it's fraught with challenges, says American conservationist Charles Vinnick, who's also part of the advisory team. You have to think about how do you transport them safely and humanely to an area where they can be released, where there's sufficient food and adult whales to help them learn what they may not have learned as youth when they were captured. While environmental groups such as Greenpeace are generally supportive, I have some concerns that some of these whales may not be released. Whale researcher Gregory Sadolko fears the companies that used a legal loophole to catch the whales could still end up selling some of them. Those companies, on contrary, they are still hoping and, uh, as far as I know, lobbying for uh, at least some of those animals be left in their possession so they can sell them as, as planned. It's possible some whales died over the cold winter and others may have caught diseases. So Cousteau's team plans to spend the next week studying the animals. Yet he cautions with rehabilitation issues to consider, all may not be let go immediately. It may take years, we don't know yet. While Russia has moved to close the loophole that allowed these whales to be caught and sold, it still permits whales to be captured for scientific or educational purposes. It's proposing a quota of 10 orcas for next year. Chris Brown, CBC News, Moscow. And a footnote to the story closer to home. A Canadian bill making it illegal to keep whales and dolphins in captivity took a big step forward this week. Bill S-203 passed the Commons Fisheries Committee on Tuesday. If it makes it through Parliament before the next election, it would levy fines up to $200,000 on parks and aquariums found in violation. But existing animals would be grandfathered in. And there's just one facility right now with a long-term commitment to keep whales and dolphins. That's Marineland in Ontario.